Wait, is this yours? That's yours. Mine's a penguin. Okay. I need to do something to clean that, though. <laughs> I don't know if the lens is foggy still. I don't know. We could be out of focus for this entire time while it warms up slowly. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Hi. How you Hello. doing? Doing good. How are you? How are you doing? Doing good. We're very close right now. Yeah. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, this is my big brother. Hello. And... The weirdness does not stop here. No. It it, it goes on. It's just, not just, just it's not just me, well, I promise. It implodes and then explodes right after it. It's just how much weirdness there is. Don't ask how that scientifically makes sense. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> We're here today to talk about Christmas stories because what other time of year would you ever talk about really weird Christmas happenings? Sometime then, in October. Yeah, yeah basically. Just, you know, just... Yeah, sometime in October. Okay. But unfortunately we missed the date so we're going to talk about it in December. Yes. We're, right now we're really missing the burr part. It's not snowing here in Michigan. Yeah, it's mostly a green. We're, it, we may end up getting a green Christmas in this rate. Yeah. Which is just wrong. It never snows, it never snows in Charlotte. I don't know, I kind of think that a green Christmas would be kind of nice. I just, uh. But we have evergreens, they're always green. Well, that's true. I guess it would be interesting to at least have snow for December 25th, but then it can melt off immediately afterwards. There I just, you go. I'm not really amped for a Michigan winter. When we were talking about this, we didn't really think of any, like, amazing Christmas stories, ever. No. Like, they're, they're always, like, pretty mild Christmases. I think the worst time is when your family starts talking about politics. Oh, yes. <laughs> so many good memories of that. Politics! Yay! I have a story that is fairly just ridiculous, because I'm ridiculous. Yeah. Um... One Christmas, my aunt, who lives out of state, and my grandfather, who also lives out of state, came here and stayed with us, and I was 12, and my aunt had asked us on the phone when, and actually what we wanted for Christmas, and like when she was coming and stuff. My mom had told me when, but I knew nothing. I was a chocolate-crazed 12-year-old. That is all I cared about. So, she asked me, what does everyone want for Christmas? I just spurred out, everyone wants a Christmas orange. A chocolate orange. I don't know if you know about these, but there's this thing called, that is a chocolate orange. I don't know who does this, but it's like orange flavored chocolate and it's in the shape of an orange. Whoever does it, by the way, it's pure magic. Thank it, you. It is, but you like you get it out. <laughs> You throw it on the floor to crack it open, and then you just have this dark chocolate orange that you just eat, and it's amazing, and every wedge has a shape of an orange slice. Now, I don't know if you know this, but you should never take a chocolate crazed 12 year old seriously. My aunt did. <laughs> And for everyone in the family, we all got t chocolate oranges. One chocolate orange per person. And she didn't tell my mom about this, so I told my mom that I wanted a chocolate orange. So I ended up getting two chocolate oranges for Christmas because I was a chocolate crazed 12 year old. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Not in a shot. Uh, At least I don't know if you are. <laughs> you have a Christmas story. When I was young, I had a very small, I'm still young, uh, when I was younger, <laughs> uh, I had a um, very small budget for what I could afford for Christmas gifts. Smaller than even now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but I was, so I got everyone's gifts for the most part, but I was trying to figure out what to get my sister, and I couldn't think of which, anything. Which is me, by the way. He only has and, one sibling. That's me. Um, yeah. And, um, 
My mom suggested that I get her this, um, that Leah was really interested, liked pink back in the day. It, it the was color pink. a long time ago. Um, and, uh, so mom said she really likes pink. Uh, you could get her this, uh, these pink rocks, which, you know, back, uh, if I was to look at it now, look at it after the fact, I really should have realized this was kind of stupid anyway, but the, they weren't even real rocks. The rocks were like these plastic they were, rocks. They were made of glass. They were glass um, rocks. They were and, blown for that purpose. Yeah. And so, um, just... By that time, I was tired of, like, the whole Christmas shopping business anyway. I've been Christmas shopping for everybody, and, you know, just my stamina for buying Christmas gifts was, like, almost all but burnt out. So I just bought this pink rock, um, and... And you bought it from the most expensive place you could have found. Yeah, pretty we, much. I did a Loafer's Glory video. A long time ago, there was this place in Blanchard, Michigan. Lovely place. It's called Loafer's Glory and Auntie's House and all that jazz. And it has departed from us. They, they, they sold because the people who ran it were retiring and their kids didn't want to run it. So they sold it and it's, well, at least they shut it down. I don't know if they sold it yet. Loafer's Glory, your cinnamon rolls will be missed. They I like mine better. Amazing. You would like yours better. You I'll like make everything. them myself. Yeah. <laughs> but he bought this glass rock from the most expensive place. You probably could have gone to like a dollar store yeah. and got me a whole bag of rocks for a yeah. dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so Christmas um, morning, yeah. I get this this little wrapped package and I don't believe, I didn't believe in Santa at the time. I stopped by the time I was about 7. But I opened that and I just thought, oh, my parents are pulling a coal thing, I'm sure. And then I unwrap it and it's this pink rock. <laughs> this and is worse than coal. <laughs> I'm just like, why? <laughs> it's like buying a pet rock. You spilled your coffee. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, it's like buying your sibling or someone that you're rather close to a pet rock basically hey pet rocks are cool when you're older it's hilarious but when you're like <laughs> 10 <laughs> you get a rock you're like what am I going to do with this so I set it on my dresser but <laughs> we were having a really nasty fight like 6 months 6 months to a year afterwards yeah. and I brought up the pink rock and I said that was the worst gift you ever gave me you were a horrible person this is my yeah. 11 to 10 year old logic so <laughs> you bought me a rock for Christmas you're horrible <laughs> <laughs> One year, I have had the history of being, like, the world's worst snoop when it comes to, like, Christmas gifts, birthday, anything. If I know that there's a gift to be had in the house, it's got to be really well hidden. <coughs> um, or you better not speak of the fact that you have it, otherwise I'll know about it, and unfortunately, that then I'll have to know what it is. Don't have to, but anyway. Uh, I will end up looking for it. And uh, one year, Mom, for Christmas, she threatened that if I found the gifts, she would return them. Because he was uh, like, he was like nine, yeah, ten. No, Somewhere you would, you there. would have been at least like thirteen, actually, around Somewhere this point. Somewhere around there. No, we were still living in Colorado. Oh, you were. Yeah. Uh, so it, it'd have to be like uh, ten or under. Yeah. Somewhere around okay. there. Okay, ten. And but nine. anyway, so I had these. Um, I had this, uh, Lego set that, uh, Mom got me for Christmas at one point, and I finally, I found it, and it was like this, one of these really big ninja Lego sets, and I was really excited and about it. I thinking, GOLD! I'VE STRUCK GOLD! Yeah. But to my horror, <laughs> Mom found out that, um, she, that I had gotten into it, and, um, so she planned to on taking it back. I still managed, like the good model child I was, to go back and collect some Lego figures and 
He says, because that's what you do when, you know, you're, like, <laughs> below ten years old. He you stole, think, oh, no. He stole these Lego figures out of this Christmas bed. Can you imagine somebody else buying it because yeah. it was on clearance because it was opened? Yeah. And they get it for their kids, and their kids are so excited that they yeah, open so it up. Yeah, there's no Lego figures. <laughs> Some of the walls for the castle are missing. Just like, oh, so that's where all the castle walls came from. I always wondered about that. Yeah, that was from the Ninja Castle. <laughs> he still has them. I think at the end of it, though, I don't think Mom actually took it back. I think she just kind of gave up on the idea. Um, but, um... Chris Christmas parent threats yeah, just, never work out. Yeah. We learned. They're empty threats. Yeah. Don't. But if you have stricter parents than we do, don't yeah. underestimate your parents. Yeah. You, your parents might make you go shovel your driveway on Christmas. Oh. Which I've done, so we could. Oh. I don't remember why I did it. Oh, I did. I think it was so I could get paid. That's probably... That makes it sense. It was recently. Like, yeah. it was within the last two years or something. Yeah. I think that's it. I think that's, that's all the Christmas much... stories. Like, except for the year that I was fed up with our family. Because it was like a week yeah. before Christmas and we hadn't set our tree up. So I set it up by myself and I was like 15. I dragged the box in all by myself and I put the ornaments on but my mom had the audacity afterwards to go through and reorganize all the ornaments apparently she thought I didn't have to do a good job yeah. at the age of 15 yeah. <sighs> I just learned that Kick the PJ does this I don't understand We're stealing that. That's ours now. Forget you, PJ. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Although, Carrie from Way Past Your Bedtime does the slurp too, but she doesn't call it a slurp. She just is known for drinking tea. Yeah. This isn't tea, this is coffee. So it's a coffee slurp. Yeah. PJ has probably done that before too. But it's the classy kind of coffee that has cocoa and. Sugar and awesomeness in it. It's basically a mocha. Yeah. Just without frothy milk. Yeah. I remember when we used to have a milk frother for our coffee machine. That wasn't really... It was okay. It just... I didn't ever really get... Understand the excitement around it. It, it was... You, it, the, it bubbles! Was, it was the fact that you didn't have to go somewhere and pay for a coffee to get frothy milk. That was the excitement. <laughs> Mom still wants a coffee, a coffee frother for Christmas. You realize that? Like the whisk yeah. thing? Or or like a pot that can froth your milk? I don't get it. And you can't, you, you can't use cream. You have to legitly use milk. Otherwise, otherwise it doesn't work. So she doesn't like it anyway. But bubbles are cool. Anyway. But bubbles are cool. <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, I... <laughs> <laughs> the first Polish dish I bring to the party A boiled potato stuffed with dill weed <laughs> I don't even know that version of the song Okay, this, this told you you'd get it, it's in there this It's is like our, the Prego sauce, it's in there This is our first day Just have to look deep, dig deep, you'll find it This is our first day of Christmas of, And <laughs> we'll be doing all 12 days Starting from the 13th to the 25th. It's your favorite thing, though. Is, is it anyone's favorite thing to, like, sit there and monotonously click on clicks and frames and... Yeah, that's what, the, <coughs> that's what Android and mobile games are for. <laughs> okay, sorry, I just had to go there. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, uh, just like, subscribe... I almost want to say rate, but we're not in 2005 anymore, or whatever it was yeah. that did it. But um, thank you guys for watching, and have a lovely Christmas. We should do a Hanukkah video. Yeah, that would be a good one. Yay! Ta-ta! Bye!